Welcome everyone. This is the fourth part of our Secrets Out Tips and Tricks from Libra Librarians, sponsored by Colorado Mountain College and Garfield County Public Libraries. As librarians, we want you to know that we're still working and we're still here for you, but in slightly different ways than we were just a few weeks ago. So first, let's introduce ourselves. I am Amy Shipley. I am the Assistant Executive Director of Garfield County Libraries. Had to unmute myself. Um, I'm Audrey Imhoff. Um, I'm the library director from Colorado Mountain College Quigley Library at Spring Valley. Great, great. Let's get started. Great. So the first tool today, I'm going to show you some tips on how to get kids entertained and learning something at the same time so that you can get some work done or attend that Zoom meeting that you've got scheduled. So the first tool I'm going to show you is called Tumble Books. Um, so you're going to start at our website, gcpld.org. And just a reminder, if you don't have a library card, no problem. You can still access Tumble Books. Just click Get a Card and then fill out the form and you'll get a seven digit library card number. If you already have a library account and you can't find your card or don't know your library card number, scroll down to the bottom of our page and click the Contact Us link and that will help you get your library card number. All right, so to access Tumble Books, you're gonna click on our Research tab and then scroll all the way down to the bottom of this page. We have a ton of resources on this page. So on Tumble Books, you're going to click Access. And I already logged in once today, so it didn't take me to the login screen, but normally you would type in your name and your library card number. And this is Tumble Books. There's a ton of resources here for kids. Some of them are sort of like read-alongs, there's games, um, and there's videos that are our videos of books being read to children. So I'm going to go to nonfiction and I'm going to choose the first book here, Animals in Camouflage. And then I'm going to click play video. Once you click play video, it starts a video and it just looks like the book and the video highlights the words as they're being read. So it helps kids just like as if they were sitting on your lap and you were reading to them and helps them know what words are being read as they're being read. So it's really a great resource. I encourage you to play around with all of these uh, resources here. So the next tip I'm gonna show you is called Canopy Kids. And for that, we're gonna go back to our website and again, we're gonna click the research tab and we're gonna scroll down to Canopy Kids. Click access. Canopy is a streaming movie service and they have tons of, tons of um, videos from Sesame Kids, I'm sorry, PBS Kids and other educational movies for kids. So there's tons of resources here you can access. You can also connect this with your smart TV, your Apple TV, or your Roku device, any other device that you have that you can install apps on, and check, check out these um, videos via your TV. That's a great um, So next we're going to go back to our website, and we're going to click on Hoopla. With both Canopy and Hoopla, when you first click on them, you will need to get an account and it does require an email address. I've already created that account so um, it knows me and it, so that's how easy it is once you are there. I'm just trying to go to the Hoopla homepage. Here we are. 
I'm on my Hoopla. I'm trying to go to the home page, but it's not letting me anyway. Normally it would it would um, land on the landing page for Hoopla. And so up in this upper right corner, if you click this kids, it kind of toggles between kids mode and regular mode. And in kids mode, then once you browse, anything you browse will be content just for kids. So you can set up for your child before you give this to them and then they can check out what they like. There are 30 checkouts per account, so you might wanna log in with your kid's account so that they have their own 30 books that they can check out and have them check out books that they're gonna to wanna to listen to over and over again because there are those 30 checkout limits. So I checked out The Good Egg this morning and I clicked play and now it says resume. And I'm gonna show you a checkout just so you can see that. We'll do Pete the Cat and the missing cupcakes. So once you find a title you're interested in, you can click borrow and then click borrow title. And then when you click play, it will just start to play that audiobook. And then you have that book for 21 days. So that is Tumble Books, Canopy Kids, and Hoopla Kids. Um, I hope you enjoy those resources and now I'm going to stop sharing my screen and turn it over to Audrey. Great, uh, thank you so much. So as you can all see, there are a ton of great movie, ebook, audiobook resources uh, through the Garfield County Public Library. Um, and it's really amazing that uh, we now have 30 checkouts on Hoopla, that's a ton. So. We really appreciate that. Um, however, it is really tough to know what is appropriate for your kids to watch. I have a 10 and a 13 year old and um, you never want to have your kids watch something that might be troubling or scary or if you're somebody who is concerned about them watching too much violence um, like I am, then my kids frequently ask me, you know, what if they can watch a particular movie or play a particular video game and it's really hard for me to know. Um, so, I am going to show you today a resource. Let me just share my screen. And this is one that I use. Let me just see here. Okay, let me try that again. Um, this is one that I use all the time when my kids ask if they can see something, watch a movie, get, um, get a particular game. And it's called Common Sense Media. And it, the page that I'm on right now is Common Sense Media Movie Reviews. And the thing I love about this is that you can click on a particular age. So I'm just gonna say 10. Um, you can also click multiple ages. And then you can look at by entertainment right now we're in movies. And then if you just look at some of these, you'll get some ideas about the types of reviews they give. So I'm just gonna look at Stargirl. Um, and what I really like about this is that it gives you, it, common sense media says age 10 and up, parents say age 10 and up, kids say age 10 and up. One thing that I find really funny is that frequently parents and kids will say something really different. Usually the parents say it can be for a younger age than the kids. It's funny the way kids often will self-censor like that. And then you can actually read kids' reviews. But what I like even more is that common sense media gives a few trailers and then they say, Here's the parent's guide to what's in the movie. And you can see, like, let's say that you're somebody, like I said, who's very concerned about violence. You can click on it and then it'll show you, here's what you need to know about the violence in the movie. Or here's what you need to know about sex in the movie. And then it will give you a little what parents need to know, um, which I really, really like. And then the last thing I'll show you here is just, you can actually look at um, themes and topics. So you can look here and say, um, I want to browse titles with similar subject matter, like book characters or friendship, um, misfits and underdogs. Sometimes they say titles that promote empathy, which I think is a great one. And then if you were to click on this, it would give you a list of um, other media that has the same kind of themes, which I think is just such a cool thing. Um, so related to those media lists, I'm also going to show you here the best media lists um, from Common Sense Media. And again, you can click based on preschoolers, tweens, teens. Look at all these different lists. Best kids movies on Netflix in 2020. So if that's something that you subscribe to. Or it might be, um, 
you know, not just by streaming service, but best documentaries. Let's say that you have a two hour meeting and you think, oh, I don't want my kids to just play games the whole time. You might find a great documentary for them to watch. And you can find one that kids also really like, which I, which I think is great. Um, all right, I think that was all I was going to show you um, on Common Sense Media. Um, the other thing I'll just point out here, they're also offering something new that's called Wide Open School. And that's just, I'm not gonna go through that today, but that is something that I would really highly recommend you take a look at sometime. Or you can just send middle school age kids or even elementary school age kids there to do some exploring on their own. They have amazing resources. So then the next thing I'm gonna show you, it's a little bit different and it's from kind of an unlikely source. And I just came across this a few days ago. The source is Dyson, the vacuum company, and they have these challenge cards and these challenge cards are really cool. They offer 44 different challenges. I'll show you what the challenge cards look like. They look like this. It's just like a single page and there's about 20. I think there's 22 of them that are engineering based and 22 that are science based. And even for kids who are like six, seven years old, you can see the materials they need. They can do these on their own. So let's say you're about to get on an hour long Zoom meeting. You can get the materials for them and you can say, have at it. And then you can go do your thing. Um, so many of the resources that are being shared right now, while they're great, they still require a lot of parent work. Um, I'm finding that myself. So these have been entertaining and educating my kids for the last few days and I've really been enjoying them. The other thing that's kind of neat about this is, um, you can see the your kids can see the videos of them too like this balloon car race they show videos for almost all of these challenges so that just kind of extends the fun and maybe gets them a little bit more motivated and interested you can see they're pretty pretty cool challenges all right um that i believe is all we have today those are the resources that um we wanted to share with you. And please join us again tomorrow um, for our final installment of how to enjoy and uh, use library resources during this stay at home time. Thanks for joining us.